Hello everyone, I, Alisa Alfredo, will be presenting our project for the ENCMA 2023 conference. And the title of our project is the ABO and the RH blood group antigen and natural anti A and anti B antibodies in the neonates. Uh, here are the authors for our project. Um, they come from the Batoma Shotarisavili State University, Batumi, Georgia, and from the Bao International University, Batumi, Georgia. Uh, now a little bit about the ABO antigens uh, to start off. Uh, so the antigens are molecules that are present uh, on the surface of the cells, and um, the ABO antigens they um, and the antigens generally they are um, specific for the immune response and it's spe special by inducing the antibodies and sensitizing the T cells. Um, and the ABO antigens, they are synthesized by the complex interaction between the transferases, the endoplasmic reticulum, and different um, organelles inside the cell. And um, any minute changes and variables and surroundings impact the, these antigens' quantity and the shape of them. Um, now about the genetics and the expression of these ABO, antis, uh, of these ABO antigens. So uh, the ABO locus is present on chromosome 9 and uh, this ABO uh, locus it is um, responsible for the glucosyl transferases A and B and these we need these glucosyl transferases for the expression of the antigen A and the antigen B. However, when it comes to the H antigen, which is the base of both the A and the B antigens, it is present on the H locus on chromosome 19. Um, and so these different nucleotide changes, they both distinguish between A allele and the B allele, and it is affected by the glucosyl transferase specificity for each of them. Um, so this diagram um, explains this uh, biochemistry of these antigens. So here we have on the left uh, the erythrocyte with the base of the uh, antigen. And whenever we have the addition of this uh, fructose molecule at the end of it by the H enzyme, uh, we have the production of the H antigen. And whenever we have only the H antigen and no other uh, molecule on top of it, we say that the the person has the O plug group because we don't have the um, the activity of the A and the B enzymes of the transferases that are responsible for the A and the B, um, B antigens. That's why it is the O antigen without any additional um, carbohydrate molecule. Um, however, uh, whenever we have the addition uh, of the carbohydrate molecule using the N-acetylgalactosamine uh, transferases, we have the production of the A antigen. And we have the production of the B antigen whenever we have the addition of the uh, galactose molecule by the B glucosyl transferase uh, enzyme producing the B uh, antigen. Uh, now some specificities of the antigen expression in the newborn. So if we want to compare this uh, antigen expression between the newborns and in the adults, in these newborns, the red blood cells have a much uh, weaker expression uh, of the A and the B antigen. And this was um, this was explained as that in the fetus, it is somewhat, somehow protected from the mother's immune system reactivity. And this is why we should be having the decreased expression of the antigen, because uh, as we know, we have these um, uh, ant antibodies that are produced by the maternal circulation and they can in fact cross the uh, placenta, the um, barrier between the mother and the fetus, and uh, go to the um, fetal circulation. And having a much weaker expression of the A and B antigen protects the fetus from the uh, immune system reactivity um, during the um, fetus life. Um, now about the synthesis mechanism of these ABO antibodies. So I, ABO antibody is a, the few antibody, the one antibody that is called naturally occurring. Uh, so what that means is that it is produced in response to the environmental ABO antigen, which means they are produced in response to, for example, the gut microbiota or the respiratory tract. And uh, it was shown that, that most of them are IgM. Um, however, we can also find IgA in the system in small amounts, and it was shown that they were produced by the B1 lymphocytes. 
Um, and when we want to talk about them in the newborns, uh, whenever we find these ABO antibodies, we can expect that they could be in majority of the cases is IgGs other than IgM because we expect that they come from the maternal circulation. And the reason is that because from the age six, uh, three to six months, this is when the body of the newborn starts producing these natural antibodies and they start to appear in the circulation. Um, and they re reach their peak at 5 to 10 years of age and they become to decrease uh, year by year until they become very feeble at the very old age and this the reason is why because the number of these B1 lymphocytes decreases the B1 lymphocytes that are responsible for the production of these natural antibodies. Uh, so this small table um, explains the different blood groups and the antigens and antibodies that we expect to find in the normal condition. So starting with the A blood group, we know that we ha it has the A antigen on the surface and we expect in the plasma to find the anti-B antibodies. Um, and when it comes to the uh, group B, we see that it has the B antigen on the surface. That's why we expect the, to find the anti-A antibodies in the plasma. However, when it comes to group AB, we find A and B antigens on the surface, and we don't expect to find any uh, anti-A or anti-B antibodies in the plasma. Uh, now, speaking of the O blood group, uh, as we know, it doesn't have uh, any anti-A or, or A or B antigens on the surface. That's why we expect in the plasma of these persons with the O blood group to have um, anti -A, both anti-A and anti-B in their plasma. Uh, now some special points that have to be highlighted in blood typing when it comes to newborns and in the blood transfusion. Uh, so we always opt to go for um, forward grouping other than reverse grouping in our newborns. And this is because we want to target, uh, we want to see these um, uh, antigens on the surface of the RBC, not the antibodies, because as I have discussed um, before, is that there we have these antibodies that are coming from the maternal circulation. That's why this, it can cause some false grouping. That's why in the newborns we always go for and we always try to go for forward grouping. And for the same reason, uh, we try to use the packed red, red blood cells other than using the whole blood during the blood transfusion. Um, and also one more point is that when we want to do the blood transfusions, especially for infants that are younger than four months, we always recommend to perform the cross-matching between the donor's blood and the mother's blood serum as well um, whenever it is possible. Um, now about the aim of our study, what's the aim of our project? It is to evaluate the immunogenetic characteristics of the erythrocyte group system in the newborns. As about the materials and methods for our sample collection and preparations, the blood samples were collected from M. Yashvili Batumi uh, Maternal and Child Central Hospitals and uh, Iris Buryashvili Health Center Medina, both of them located in Batumi, Georgia. Uh, and the informed consent was obtained from the legal guardians of the newborns uh, that are selected for the study. Um, and our research uh, subjects, the number of them was 208 newborns. They were enrolled in our study. And our inclusion criteria is that these newborns have to be less than a month old. Um, we didn't have any uh, exclusion criteria. Um, and uh, our procedures were approved by the Ethics Committee of the Bao International University, Batumi, Georgia. Uh, now for the blood collection and storage, um, these peripheral blood samples, which are 2 ml, they were obtained from the newborn's heel with an EDTA as an anticoagulant to maintain them. Then these specimens are handled carefully and stored at the 4 Celsius until further analysis. Uh, so these blood samples then were, were centrifuge at 4000 RPM for 1 to 2 minutes to separate the plasma and then this plasma was extracted and stored in 0 0.5 micro um, ml uh, micro centrifuge test tubes and for the testing procedures these ABO uh, blood group determination we did it using the slide agglutination method um, and uh, mainly we did these tests we observed these tests using the naked eye when the agglutination was uh, good however when the agglutination was weak we made sure to use the microscope to so we can see this agglutination in a better way um, <clears throat> we also employed commercially available uh, ABO antisera uh, the, the antisera that we use was anti-A, anti-B, anti-D, anti-A1 and anti-H antibody 
so the laboratories that uh, were used were the Laboratory of Immunogenetics and Biosafety in the Department of Biology and the Faculty of Natural Sciences, Health, Batumi Shottar, Estevali State University, and uh, the Pharmacogenetic Laboratory of Bao International University, Batumi. Uh, for the statistical analysis, we used SPSS software, and we used this special calculat uh, calculatory um, platform website for the calculations that we did. Um, now about the results of our uh, study. So first we wanted to analyze the distribution and of the phenotypic groups of the ABO system. So what we saw uh, is that we have the highest number of the O blood group in our study samples. It was 43% of our samples were of O blood group. When it comes to the A blood group, it was 41% of our samples. And uh, when it comes to the B blood group, it was 10%. And the least one was at 4.8% uh, of AB blood group. Um, so the degrees of freedom was 3. The critical value was less than the chi-square, a critical value of 7.8. And the chi-square was um, 8.9, which uh, 8, 89.6, which is 11 times more than the critical value. Um, we also uh, wanted to, we were interested in the ABO blood group system's gene distribution frequency. As we know, the ABO um, blood uh, system, it follows this three allelic genetic system of the R, P, and Q. And using the Hardy-Weinberg equation, we calculated that the R allele was at 0 0.6, the P allele was at 0 0.3, um, and the Q allele was, was at 0 0.1. And the total sum of this will come to 1. Um, we were also interested and we studied during, uh, using the anti-D, uh, anti-Sera. Anti uh, we wanted to see the RH phenotype of these newborns. And we saw um, that the majority of them, 87% of them, was of RH positive, And only 12% were of RH negative. Um, and one more thing that we were uh, very interested in is that we wanted to, to see the antibody expression in the newborns and how it is different from newborns and the adults. So starting with the O blood group. So in the O blood group, uh, we expect to find anti-A and anti-B antibodies. Uh, and that was the case in only 38% of our samples, which expressed both anti-A and anti-B antibodies in the serum. Um, and only 20% expressed only anti-A antibodies and no anti-B antibodies, and only 9.89% expressed only anti-B antibodies, and, and um, only 30% expressed none of the antibodies. Uh, coming to the A blood group antibody expression, so in the A blood group we expect to find the anti-B antibodies and that was the case in 40% uh, of the cases and the majority of the cases at 59% we found none of the anti-B antibodies. Uh, coming to the B blood group, we also expect that we find the anti-A antibodies and uh, we found the anti-A antibodies in 61% of the cases and uh, most uh, and also the, the cases where we didn't find the, um, any of the antibodies was 38%. And uh, we wanted to see the total of this expression uh, compared to what is normally expected. Uh, we calculated um, the, the, the sum of all the groups that we have of our groups, A, B, and O. So uh, totally, we saw that only uh, 35 of the samples of the O blood group had the normal expression. Uh, partial expression was seen in 28 of the O blood group. Partial expression means that it only expressed A or only expressed B, not both of them. And uh, we saw that 28% of our samples were without expression of any antibodies. A blood group, we, ha we saw that there was a normal expression of anti-B antibodies in 35%, of the, uh, 35 cases, no partial expression because we only expect anti-B antibodies and uh, the majority of the cases, uh, 51%, um, we found that there is no expression of the antibodies. Um, coming to B blood group, we found that 13 uh, samples, there was a normal expression. We saw these anti-A antibodies and 8%, uh, uh, 8 samples, uh, they had no expression of the antibodies. So totally, when we sum it all up, 
uh, of our uh, samples, we saw that 41% uh, of them only had the normal expression that we expected from uh, comparing it to the adult samples, um, what, what is expected to be in the normal situation. And a partial expression was 14%. And a no expression was found in 43% of the cases in our sample of the newborns. Uh, one more thing that we were interested in is that we wanted to study the subgroup variation that we had in our uh, of the A antigen subgroup variation that we have in our samples. So as we know, uh, A antigen has two subgroups, A1 and A2. And uh, whenever we had this um, interaction with, with the anti-A1 um, lectin, the anti-A1 antibody, we, uh, we were interested in this, is, is that we saw there was a weak agglutination. So uh, in both the situation of the A phenotype and the AB phenotype. So for example, in the A1 phenotype, when there was an agglutination with the anti-A1, we saw that there was this weak agglutination, not a strong agglutination. Also, same case uh, in the AB phenotype, we saw that there was the uh, weak agglutination when it came to the A1B um, group. So this may mean that the expression of the A1 antigen is weaker than the expression of the A2 antigen. Uh, this table explains the total expression of the A1, A2, A1B, and the A2B subgroup distribution in our study. So uh, we saw that of the A phenotype, uh, A1 uh, subgroup was 12 of the samples coming to 13% and the majority of the cases of the A phenotype were of A2 subgroup, which was an interesting uh, thing to notice. And of the AB phenotype, um, we had two cases where it was A1B and a majority was um, of 8 was of A2B uh, subgroup. Uh, so just to sum it all up, um, so what we saw is that the majority of these newborns of the, when we wanted to study the subgroups of the A antigen, they had the A2 subgroup. And uh, it is a known fact that in the general population, uh, this uh, distribution is different. So we see more uh, distribution of the A, a higher distribution of the A1 than the A2 in the general adult population. Uh, population. And we also saw the same thing when talking about the AB phenotype. We saw that the A1 generally, A1B is more prevalent the A and then A2B. And we saw the opposite in our study, our newborns, um, the majority of them was of A2B uh, subgroup. Uh, so um, this is interesting because uh, the newborns group A1 erythrocytes, these fail to exhibit the serological response to the anti-A1 lectin due, due to this incomplete synthesis. So uh, we also wanted to compare uh, this data that we had from our study to a data to a work that we did previously uh, between years 2018 and 2020, uh, where we uh, studied the um, A1 and A2 subgroup distribution from these adult donors, uh, adult blood donors from the population. So um, in that um, population and these donors, uh, we saw that in the blood donor, this population, the frequency of the A2 subgroup is very little and is equal to uh, 8.7, while in the newborns that we had in our study was of 85%. So we can see how different it is comparing to our newborns, where we saw the majority were of A2, and compared to the general population of our previous study, where adults, they had a more distribution of the A1 other than the A2 subgroup. So uh, also one more thing to point on is that we didn't find any problems uh, when we wanted to detect the RH um, status of the newborns. So all the RH agglutination was uh, very well uh, very well visible because the agglutination was uh, done well. So this um, this signifies that there was a good expression of the RH, the D antigen. Um, and this could be because the RH antigen is a direct product of the um, RHD gene. So in conclusion, uh, what we concluded from this is that this uh, production of the ABO antigens and antibodies begins prenatally and continues in the postnatal period, uh, particularly in the life of this first six months of the lives of the uh, infants. 
this is why these um, natural ABO anti A and anti B antibodies were produced only in the few uh, in the newborns plasma in our study, and the majority of the cases of, of these newborns it was not possible to detect them by these um, serological techniques. Um, and there was this predominance when we wanted to study the A antigen. There was a predominance of the A2 and the A2B phenotypes in these newborns. And since in the postnatal period of the development is required for the full expression of the ABO system antigens, A2 subgroup exhibits mimicry at the A1 subgroup serologically. Uh, we would like to acknowledge uh, Batumi Shottar Sevilli State University targeted grant project evaluation of immunogenetic characteristics of erythrocyte blood group uh, antigen antibodies of newborns that is performed between years 2020 and years 2022. And we would also like to acknowledge Bowie International University, uh, University Batumi, Georgia. Um, here are our references that we use for our um, literature review and for our presentation. And please do not hesitate to contact us through these emails if you may have any questions or any inquiries regarding our study. And thank you for your attention and for your time.